Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to the first episode of the Pulp Secret Mailbag. Uh, <laughs> this is like the letters page in the back of a comic book. You guys oh, read yes. comic books, right? Yeah, I, do. I, I certainly cool. do. Yeah. Uh, so you guys have been sending in a ton of letters. We only get to answer one of them per week on the stack, so we thought we'd put together a little show so we can answer every single letter you guys send in. Uh, not necessarily on this episode, but we will get to all of them. <laughs> yes, and much like a uh, comic book letters page, we would like you to title it for us. Yes. Like Invincible, the comic book, it's the Letters page is titled Pen Vincipals, mm. which is a pun. <laughs> a you. pun is a witty plan. And uh, people have actually already sent in a couple of suggestions. Oh, so thank right, you guys. So, uh, all right, here we go. Robin suggested we call it the Three Stooges. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. I don't want to do some slapstick. <laughs> uh, Elmo, Brent, and Beth all suggested we call it the stack, but with the T crossed out. Three people. Oh, we can't call it that. <laughs> no, the I think. Sack. The sack. Thank you for the male it out. sack. Oh. I don't know. If okay. <laughs> uh, Mark suggested the Institute. We'd have to smoke pipes. Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah. And over on YouTube, uh, Superboy1 suggested flipping the page. Awesome. Huh. Yeah, you like Great that one? idea. <laughs> All right. Fantastic. Uh, we're Turn probably not going to call it flipping the page. Uh, sorry, Superboy1. How about just in time for mail? <laughs> <laughs> How about I likes to read the mail? <laughs> <laughs> that, those are not witty plays on words. But right definitely <laughs> uh, email us, uh, comment, whatever you want. Let us know. Come up with suggestions. Let us know if you really want to call it the mail sack, uh, and we will uh, eventually come up with a name for you guys. I worked on a project called the mail sack. <laughs> so let's get into the first full question. Uh, this is actually a couple of different questions from a guy who has no name or a girl who has no name. Uh, men and women of Pulp Secret. I must ask, is there any truth to the speculation of Captain America's glorious return to the field of comic books? Uh, if he, I heard he was writing a graphic novel. Yeah, yes. he's been working on really if indie stuff. If this is true, I must ask, as many others would agree, if this return will be cheapened via all the insanity that is going on in the Marvel Universe. What do you guys think? Yes. Yes, well, it would cheapen it because uh, Brubaker right now is doing an amazing job with Captain America, and they're still getting the bottom of his death and what happened and how the Red Skull was involved and all of that. So I feel like if they came out now with a uh, book about Captain America's glorious return or naming someone to Captain America, it would completely undermine all of that. Yeah. Hmm. I agree. <laughs> cool. Um, all right, next question is, when are they going to make a movie just about Robin himself? He does deserve it after 60-some years. No, he doesn't. Chris okay. O'Donnell? Come yeah. on. Yeah, he should get a solo movie. Uh, when are you guys going to get on television? Well, well, we have a little fun fact for you guys. We're uh, on NBC. <laughs> a new show. It's called uh, Late Night with David Letterman. That's oh, CBS. <laughs> that was entirely the wrong joke. It's called Friends. Okay. Uh, actually, if We're you own a TiVo, I own a TiVo. Must be you, nice. Thank yeah. you very much. Uh, there is a TiVo cast <laughs> section. If you go to, I think it's uh, Download Programs. Pulp Secret is on there, and you can set up a season pass, and it will download every season single pass. episode to your television. I own a I ham radio. Can I download <laughs> it to that? Absolutely. Ah, we'll tell you how to <laughs> next time. Uh, last question. From Zoetrope. This, I'm watching things This thing you wrote in is, is Cyclops ever going to be done extremely well? well nope. Because wow. Cyclops is a douchebag like Iron Man, and he doesn't deserve it. <laughs> I, I hate oh, both those characters, that's and I don't an, want to see anything with them. What? You don't want to see anything? What do you mean he's a douchebag? That's it, an answer that you can write on a bathroom wall. <laughs> Thank you, and I do do that. <laughs> <laughs> I write, Cyclops is a douchebag. Wow. Very, Pe pooped here. Very, that's right. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, PPH. He, he, read Astonishing X-Men if you're not. I think he's being done very well over there. By Emma Frost. Oh, snap! Oh, oh, yeah, oh. you know. All right, a couple of quick oh. lightning round questions for you guys. Uh, Mike would like to know if we'll cover the Flight Anthology comics. Uh, Mike, yes. Uh, I think they're going to do that maybe around Comic Book Orange. Yes, yes. so check that around. out. Uh, flight is great, just we usually cover individual issues on the stack. Uh, Sean from Austin was wondering what we think about Black Summer and Dr. Sleepless. Well, I, we love Black Summer. Uh, I'm, I picked up uh, Dr. Sleepless a couple times. The first two issues, not too excited about it, so we'll see. It's, it's, kind of it's a little crazy. I'm yeah. certainly interested to see where it goes. It has... It, it's not low on ideas. That's true. Yes. <laughs> uh, Jesse from Spokane, Washington, was hoping we can mention the passing of Mike Ruango. We've been covering that, covering that on the blog a little bit. Um, they just did, over on Project Rooftop, which is a place uh, where they post 
drawings of different characters. They did a whole week um, where they had featured drawings of Impulse. It's a great tribute to Michael Rango. It's cool. Yeah, and he's a, he's a great artist uh, and will definitely be missed. Yes. Um, Philip from Germany writes in to tell us about an awesome website called CoverBrowser.com. Uh, you can look at over 80,000 comic book covers from all the decades. I actually took wow. a look at it last night, and it is really awesome. So if you have a chance, head over to CoverBrowser.com and spend the rest of your life doing nothing but looking at comic book covers. <laughs> uh, Ayuda says, I love your comic book reviews. Oh, well. Thank you very much. Uh, and just wondering if you read The Max Punisher and Marvel's Moon Knight. I no. A, yes. <laughs> Let me just say no. <laughs> yes and yes. Wow. Yeah. Well, what do you right. think of them, Pete? Well, uh, Moon, uh, Moon Knight, I have I start off really excited about it, and I feel like that's dropped off a little bit, but Punisher Max has just been really great. It's just so extreme. It's to the max, guys. Let's, let's hey, do it. Hey, you've been it's enjoying it. I, Don't I, I, will say, say, I will say I'm not a huge fan of the Punisher. Uh, the Max series is great. It's to the max. It's so extreme. Yeah. It's like surfing on the sun. Okay. It's uh, that extreme. <laughs> it's that extreme. It's Here's the max. next question. Uh, Dylan writes, just started watching your vids, and... <laughs> You guys <laughs> definitely provide some very helpful information on some of the not as well-known publishers, uh, but I would be very curious to see what you guys think about the new Thor series. I personally thought the first issue was great, but left a lot of questions for me, and it seemed to me that the second issue left a lot to be desired, though the art was great, just as it was in the first issue. Uh, Pete, you were giving it a big thumbs up, I saw. Out of the <laughs> oh, no, I wasn't. Uh, I was very excited about the new Thor, but I felt like, like he just said, uh, first issue was great, and then it fell flat Kind of petered face. out? I wouldn't ever say that. No, LePage <laughs> down. No, no, no. It turned LePage. <laughs> no, no, it sucked. Yeah. Uh, suck LePage. <laughs> yeah. um, I think it's going to be good. It's a lot like the Eternals in that they're, they're going to grab all the uh, old Asgardian uh, heroes, find them in their regular lives. And I am right in the middle. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. All right. Uh, we have one last letter from you guys today. This is Steve from Span... Ban Pedro. <laughs> That's how it's pronounced, right? Uh, he says, hey guys, I was wondering what you thought of the Wolverine evolution arc, its implications of a lupine species separate from Homo sapiens, and the conclusion fever during the final confrontation between Wolvie and Sabretooth. That's hard science, actually. Most yeah. men are defended, descended from wolves. Yes. Which true. I feel is a little closer, because I've never really felt like an ape or a gorilla, but I really felt more akin to wolves. Akin, so I, yes. Yeah, so I would definitely agree with that statement. Uh, as far as the last saber tooth Wolverine battle, that was that was crazy. That arc was stupid. Whoa! Those, yeah. that, I don't know if and I that's that. the final word on that. <laughs> and that's the last letter we have for you guys today. If you want to send in your letter, there's a bunch of different ways you can do that. You can email us at tips at paulsecret.com or you can call 213-291-1883. Um, also, you can post on YouTube, comment over there, and we will answer questions that you post in the comments. Or if you want to send us a video response, we will play the video response in the show. Just post that over at YouTube. Uh, we got one last thing for you guys. We got a couple of gifts from Fox Atomic. Oh. We mentioned this last time. The awesome graphic anthology Nightmare Factory uh, came out on September 4th. We have five yeah. copies. Five really of the people's good. questions yeah. that we answered uh, during the show, we are randomly going to choose them, and they will want a copy of this. So look forward to that. And that's it for the mailbag. Let us know what you guys think by writing in. We're going to close up the mailbag for today. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bursting with letters, I can't Bye, even guys. close it. <laughs>